and welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do a bit of world editor building at a uh, small airport called Jamestown, north of Adelaide. As always, please subscribe, like, and come visit letsflyvfr.com. Now, the reason I wanted to do this is just show you how simple it is to get a project started in WED. So, the first thing you've got to do is tell WED where your X-Plane 11 directory is. Once you've got that done, it's, it's pretty much set up. Now, this is a very simple program. You can just download it from either letsflyvfr.com. Uh, it will be available there very soon. Then the next thing you need to do is to hit new. Uh, you'll see the blue line there. Click on that and give your project a name. You can also get this uh, web from, uh, X, from Laminar Research. It's available on their website in their developer tools. So I'll try and put a link down in the description below. So we're going to do Jamestown. Now we're going to open it. So you can see uh, Gawler sitting there because that's what I was working on previously. We go down and we choose import from scenery gateway from the file menu. Um, that'll bring in all the bits and pieces it needs to, to see the airport. Uh, it'll download everything there. Now you've got all your airports. Just search for your airport that you want to build. Any one that you want to do, you can go here and get. From here you will find uh, generally there might be a few airports of a similar name. Get the one that you want. And then there's a recommended normally. And there may be other ones that have been submitted. Some might be okay. But the recommended one is the one that they'll be in uh, x -Plane at the moment. And here it is, as you can see. This airport. I, I really didn't like the way it was laid out. The runways are good, but the way the pan is, or the parking area, I didn't like, so I thought I'd get rid of it first. And I have flown here personally. I flew a Jabiru up here a couple of times uh, from Gawler when I was doing my flying. And uh, it has changed. It's a very simple airport. So my plan is to do the taxiways. And we're just clicking on the left panel here. All you do is on the left, you'll see Lamina Research. That's the library. If you click on that little box and drop down, it will open up to all the other libraries that you have available. So you just click on the on the, the little green cross um, and you can then place it where you want it. There's a little circle and a line. If you click on the line and drag that out, then you can rotate it. As you can see those little arrows extending out when, I've been, when I'm doing this. So it is really simple. Uh, the top on the left hand panel there on the first panel, you can search for anything on there. You can search hangar, uh, people, aeroplanes, uh, whatever you like. It's a bit of a challenge getting it, getting what you want sometimes, but it's pretty simple. So this is the actual airport. Now, the whole aim of this is just to give you an airport to arrive at, because this had absolutely nothing. So it's just a matter of clicking, dropping, rotating, and putting things where you want it. Uh, with um, doing roads, this one here, we're just going to build the apron. Now, this one is... Uh, it's really easy with it, this tool. I'm just going to move the um, taxi wager. So you just click on them. You use the arrow tool at the very top there. Now, every time you click on an object that you want to place, if it is an object, um, it'll go to the object tool in the menu that you see in the middle pane there. So you don't actually have to go and select anything. Here I've selected uh, some asphalt. And uh, you're just able to build asphalt like this. You've got to be very careful you don't cross over the lines, though, when you do this. Otherwise, it creates an error. If you click and drag a little, you do tend to get the tool that allows the point to be rounded. And you can drag it out and turn it around. It's something. But all I want to do is just give you a quick impression of how easy it is to do this. Because it's, it's so, so simple. And I haven't done it for years. I've used Overlay Editor. And its functionality is identical to Overlay Editor. Now we're going to do a bit of grass for the windsock. And I just placed the windsock item here as well. So just not too far between the points. And you can make it pretty rounded just doing it. No, it doesn't have to be... You know, it depends how, how um, angle you are and how perfect it has to be. But you can make it pretty round. And then you can drag it around a bit. Now you can plant trees all around the airport. You can put buildings. You can actually do cities and everything with it as well. If you want, I'm just going to grab this point and uh, try and round this bit of grass off a bit. Remember, you have to click on the point, the arrow at the very top left there, just to see highlighted. 
then you can grab you can see that is one of the um the points that you can help to make rounded circles the one i was clicking on at the moment you can just see some little arrows on it you can pull the arrows out and then you can twist it around to uh to round off particular points especially on runways and taxiways so you can do grass and grassed areas here so i'm going to put a few trees down here um, also put some uh, at the end of the runway so there's little white dots there there um, I put some little uh, white barriers down there uh, towards the end of video as well um, uh, you can add homes around it um, add forests forest you you can build either in individual trees please remember that uh, the more things you have uh, the higher more workload is going to be on your computer so uh, keep that in mind now the end of the runway here i know they have um like an air tractor comes in and does uh, spraying for the farmers in the local area so uh the facades is, as you call as you, they're called uh, you can build up very complicated buildings with these so you'll see a dot fac uh, on the object and not uh, obj which is object and then you can click down and you can trace the corner of the thing and go flying so let's go flying well let's have a look at that for now so as you can see we're coming around over the top and back down you can see the little objects at the end of the runway placed there and down the side of the runway you know, fly down past the hangars all those trees I've put in place it just gives the um, the area a little life it does need some more work the you could do do with some roads and things down the side there maybe some fencing around it would be good let's have another quick fly past you can see the tanks on the right that I put down yes the uh, the building for that the clubhouse isn't accurate at the moment but look it's something that's there if you want to go build them you can build your own objects um, in a number of different programs uh, that are freely available out there SketchUp I think is one you can do but the idea is just have something there if I want to search into uh, the wider variety of libraries then I can find something a little bit closer but I understand if you use anything outside the Lamina research library that we've used to build this one you can't upload it to WED and if you want to share it with people and you can do it that way if you use a wider variety of libraries then you need to um, take it to the org and and then you can upload it to the org and, and uh, distribute it and share it with people there if you would like so it looks pretty nice that have got really good frames because there's not really enough, very much to draw here got a few um, uh, glider tractors there so subscribe like uh, thanks for coming and watching the video and get out there and have a go building some airports with World Editor. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.